Hi. Today we're going to check out how to get the drum sound of John Bonham of Led Zeppelin using only one microphone. Uh, of course, there will only be one John Bonham ever. He's inimitable. Greatest drummer ever in my, in my book. Uh, maybe except for Buddy Rich. Uh, but I'm going to try. Uh, at the end of the clip, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, the gear used and how it was set up and, and so on. And, and, and discuss a bit more uh, about uh, what is known uh, when it comes to uh, what gear John Bonham used uh, and, and, and other settings. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, so here I used an AKG C414 BXL2 uh, condenser mic uh, as the sole mic to record this. This went to, into an Apogee Duet and then into an iPad with Cubases. And there I added some of the onboard uh, reverb and compressor, but very small amounts. And basically the def default settings. Uh, the drums I used here wasn't exactly the same as the ones. John Bonham mainly used throughout the 70s because he used, he used a, a number of different drums. Um, but I, I, I used a uh, classic maple 26 times 14 kick drum here. And that's uh, exactly the same that uh, John Bonham used uh, at least album 2, 3, and 4 and so on. Um, then I used the uh, 1950s or maybe even older uh, WLF snare, uh, 14 times uh, six and a half, uh, wooden snare, but, but uh, it sounds, sounds quite metallic, actually, for a wooden snare. Uh, whereas John, John Bonham used uh, an aluminum uh, Ludwig Supraphonic, uh, 14 times six and a half snare. Um, Hi-hat, I, I, I used to... Uh, Paste, is it called that? Paste, paste, maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm bad at pronunciations. Uh, 2002, uh, he, he used Giant Pete also, but but uh, I, I think he it was more he, he more frequently used 2002. Uh, uh, he, he used the the uh, Sound Edge hi hat, and I used the medium. So you get a harder, brighter sound from, from his, his hi-hat uh, than this one. I bet you've heard stories about uh, various miking techniques. 
uh, about John Bonham's drums. For instance, uh, uh, on the first album, uh, if you Google Glyn Jons and Led Zeppelin and drums, you, you're going to hear, you, you, you can read about how, how he recorded the drums uh, with three mics. Uh, but if you, uh, if you listen to a 1991 interview with Peter Grant, you will also learn that uh, the drums was placed on a wooden podium that resonated with the drums. And according to Peter, it was a huge contribution to, uh, to why they got that sound. Um, qu quite interesting, I think. Uh, and, and I bet you've also heard the, 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 the story about uh, how and Andy Jones set up to uh, uh, buy a dynamic M160s uh, on the second floor on, in the mansion where, where, where they recorded Zeppelin, Zeppelin 4 when Jimmy, pub, Jimmy Page was down at the pub. And, uh, at least that's what uh, Andy Jones claims. Um, and and, and, and um, that, that's where, where, when they came up with the, uh, the great sound for the, uh, uh, when the levee breaks drums. Um, when it comes to the skins on, on the kick drum, I use, uh, on the batter side, I use uh, ambassador coated. And on the uh, front side, I, I use uh, ambassador smooth white. Uh, so first I put on the, the skins and uh, I, I uh, tense them in pairs and go, go around just, just so, uh, so, so it, uh, you, you have the lowest possible pitch. I, th I think there's even a concept, LPP, that you can Google and learn more about. Uh, and I leave the front, front skin like that. Then, then I... Uh, I, I with these big T-shaped plugs, I, 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 I screwed them to two laps for each pair of, uh, of lugs on the, on the batter, batter skin. Uh, and when I played it first, it, 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 it felt like this, this rings like a, like a tone. It, it can't be played. Uh, and it basically sounded that when I played in the room. But recorded, it's, it sounds great. Uh, so, so, so it's... Uh, it feels way too high. Uh, Simon Carlson set up the, the snare drum, so, so I, I, don't, I don't know how it was set up, but it sounds so good, so I, I haven't dared to, to touch it. So, now I, I want to hear what you think about this. Do you think this was, was anywhere near uh, John Bonham's tone? And, 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 and by the way, which, which is your, your favorite John Bonham recording, John Bonham tone? Let me know and, and don't don't hold back. Cheers.